okay? I can understand the frustration. I can understand the upsetness. I'm not looking to harm your son, okay? I put a lot of money after his bail. I simply want to return him back. And if he's got a drug problem, I'll be more than happy to address that and get the courts to get him a mandated program. Does he have any kids? He has a son. Does he see his son? Uh, well, no, he he's in the army. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, God bless him. God bless him. You know, my father was a, you know, a war vet. My grandfather's a war vet. So I, I wasn't able to go to the service. I have a bad asthma. Yeah, he's, he's been in Iraq. Well, God bless him. You know, I'm not here looking to harm you or your family or harm him. But he has to go back and answer these charges, and he has to answer the warrant. Friday morning, I have to pay a lot of money because he did this to me. So my family is also affected, just like your family. How the heck affected. did he afford the bail? It's only if it was only fifteen hundred dollars he had to come up with. It's ten percent. Oh. You know, and he had gotten some help from some friends, and that was it. You know, and then nobody wants to step up and help out now. You know, nobody wants to say anything except for the ex-wife and the ex-girlfriend. You know. Look, I, I hate coming to people's homes like this. Obviously, you and your husband are older folks. You know, you guys don't need this crap. You know, you're probably very upset and concerned for your son and his safety and, and, his, and his habit. And, you know, I'm not looking to jam him up. I just want to get my money saved. I don't, you know, and I want to, if he needs help, I'll be more than happy to help him. You know, you can look us up online. I do a lot of outreach work for drug addicts. I come from a very long family of drug, drug abusers, okay? I am, this, this is the worst thing I deal with. All right, this is what breaks up families. Do you you live in Florida? No, I live in New York. I live in Manhattan. I, I live out in Long Island. My office, I have offices in Brooklyn. My, my furthest north office is actually in Yonkers. You know, but this is my insurance company. I have offices in Florida. I have six offices down there as well. You know, so it's very tough. You know, I'm trying to manage everything I can, you know, and, and watch my liability and protect my interests. You know, and this is what happens. And this is part of the job, yes. You know, but you guys don't look, you're not my typical family. I'm used to dealing with poverty-stricken, you know, projects, that kind of, you understand what I'm saying? The type of clientele. You guys are middle-class American family living in a decent neighborhood. You know, your son has some problems, you know, and we can maybe get him right on track. You know, it's not too late. You know, you can always teach an old dog new tricks. And I, I have my word, and I have goosebumps as I'm saying this to you. I will not harm your son. I just need him to turn himself over. He can call me on that number. I will meet him, and I will take him down there without handcuffs to all my yards and walk him into the judge like a man. I'm not going to treat him like an animal. All right? I just well, need... I don't think he's acted like an animal. No, I don't think you know, he deserves this. I don't, I don't understand. I don't believe well, he ever would I'll hit a what, cop. I'll tell you what I'll do. Are you home all day long? Pretty much. Pretty much. I will go and photocopy the police report and everything, and I'll come back a little bit later on. Later, maybe around 10, 11 o'clock, and I'll give you copies of everything so you can read it for yourself, okay? Is that fair? Yeah. Maybe you can try reaching out. I don't out. believe it. I just don't I, believe it. You know it. what? I knew he was arrested. I knew about that from his ex-wife. Right. Right. But just, I'll, well, I'll let you read the police report. I have no problem with that. I'll make a copy so you can keep it. And maybe in the interim, if you can try reaching out to maybe family and see if anybody has seen him up here. Because everybody's saying down there that he did come back to New York. In fact, we have a little bit more proof than that that he is here. You know, whether he's not going to come here because of your husband, maybe that's possible, like you said. We don't know the relationship between your husband or yourself and him. We just know it's mom and dad. Right? That's why we ended up here. You know, maybe your daughter can, you know, assist you and so we can, you know, or your, your other sons or anything. Maybe Are you done? I want to go back to bed. Okay. I don't want to get just, out of here. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm sorry. I'll come back a little bit later on, okay? Uh, All right, or do you want to just call me? All right? All right, thank you very much, dear. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, thank you very much, sir. All right, God bless. I hope you feel better.